Hey everyone, today I will be showing you how to customize the ribbon on a Mac MS Word. And here is how. To start customizing the ribbon, open your Microsoft Word menu and go to Preferences to open the Word Preferences dialog box. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Command plus comma to open this dialog box. By default, Word for Mac does not show group names in the ribbon. Displaying them can be helpful as we will refer to them throughout this tutorial. To enable this, select View. Then show group titles. After that, click the back button and select ribbon and toolbar. Ensure you are in the ribbon tab. To add or remove tabs and groups, use an option from the customize the ribbon menu. Main tabs are the tabs that appear in print layout and outline view when you open Word. All tabs includes every tab available in Word. While tool tabs are contextual tabs that appear in specific situations, such as the picture format tab when a picture is selected. Check or uncheck the box next to a tab to add or remove it from the ribbon. To view the groups within a tab, click the arrow next to the tab name. To remove a group, select it and then click the Remove button. Individual commands cannot be removed from preset groups. Note that the Adobe Acrobat group cannot be removed without deleting a backend library file, which is beyond the scope of this tutorial. We can cover that advanced topic in the future if requested. In Word, Commands can only be added to custom groups. Custom groups can be added to custom tabs or existing preset tabs. To add a custom group to a custom tab, click the Add button and select New Tab from the drop-down menu. Select the new tab labeled New Tab Custom. Then click the More Options button. Choose Rename from the drop-down menu. Enter a name in the dialog box. And click the Save button. Next, select the new group automatically created in your tab. Click the More Options button again. Choose Rename and enter a new group name in the dialog box. There is an option to choose a symbol for your new group. But since this feature has not worked reliably for me, I will skip it today. Finally, click the Save button. To create a custom group in an existing tab, select the tab, click the Add button, then select New Group from the drop-down menu. Select the new group, click the More Options button, choose Rename, enter a name in the dialog box, and click the Save button. Now that we have created a custom group, we can add commands to the ribbon. First, select the custom group, then choose an option from the Choose Commands from menu. Popular commands and all commands are likely the best choices for most users. Select a command, click the Add button, and repeat this process until all necessary commands are added. You can reorder commands by dragging them within the custom group. Default commands in default groups cannot be reordered. To remove a command, select it in the custom group, and then click the Remove button. When finished customizing the ribbon, Click the Save button and close the Word Preferences dialog box. Your ribbon customizations should appear immediately and will remain until you change them or reset the ribbon to its default settings. To reset the ribbon to its default settings, open the Word menu, select Preferences, and in the Word Preferences dialog box, select Ribbon and Toolbar. Ensure you are in the Ribbon tab. To reset a specific tab, select it in the Tabs menu. Click the More Options button and select Reset Only Selected Ribbon tab or reset all customizations from the drop-down menu. If you choose Reset Only Selected Ribbon tab, click the Save button. If you choose Reset All Customizations, click Yes in the dialog box. Finally, close the Word Preferences dialog box. There are several ways to collapse or hide and then reopen the ribbon. One of the easiest methods is to select the View menu, then Ribbon from the drop-down menu. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Command plus comma to collapse and reopen the ribbon. And that's it. I hope this helps. And before we end this video, Please do share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.